Since the dawn of the round table, one proposal has been made time after time after time. Got any t-shirts? Well, look no further. We have our very first round table apparel. Round table, black and blue. Available in premium tea, women's tea, and a hoodie. This is just a first of many, and as we continue making them, we'll start making some for Crystal Clear, Round Table After Dark, and Let's Talk With Tom, on top of more. So head over to Teespring right now, link in the description, to get your Round Table apparel. Offer ends this Sunday, February 19th, at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now let's get on with the video. Hey guys, Ostrich Fox here. Wow, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting video to talk about. My next two videos are about Cartoon Network, their schedule, their ratings, and I'm going to express this now. And when I talk about this, it's going to look like, oh, they're trying to kill off Steven Universe, or oh, they don't care about Steven Universe. Everything about top on the next two videos affects every single show on the network. And yes, it's going to lead to Teen Titans Ghost Lander, I understand that. But understand, Cartoon Network does care about Steven Universe, they do like it. There is method to their madness, and if, like I said, look on social media, they always promote Steven Universe on social media. They want people to know. But that doesn't excuse the fact that this schedule that I'm about to talk about in this video is unacceptable. And what happened, which is the topic of my next video for the Friday Night Ratings, is unacceptable. So if you look at Cartoon schedule this week, and it is this week. Yeah, you see all that yelling schedule? That's all Teen Titans Go. This week, Teen Titans Go would be aired 159 times. And if you look at the schedule, like they did like a totals on the side. I, I'll, I'll put the link to this image in the description. That's literally, quite literally, exactly 50% of this schedule. And now you guys are probably wondering, okay, how about Steven Universe? <laughs> a lot of people are going to like flip out over this. And please understand, I, once I explain it, you guys may be more open to it, but I mean, it's still pretty ludicrous anyways. Steven Universe is only going to be aired once on Friday, which is the new episode. No, there's no reruns at all this week. Now people are thinking, oh, no reruns? They're trying to kill the show. No, I'm going to explain this right now before I continue ranting about how messed up the schedule is. Because even though they do do this, and I kind of understand why they do this, it's still ludicrous. For years, whenever Cartoon Network gives a show a really big promotion, like they aired a lot. Like, Steve Harris' past few weeks have been aired a lot. They did, like, that all-day marathon on Sunday and Monday. They aired Out of This World, like, two times in one day. They began the show a lot of rerun times. Of course, it runs every single day. Cartoon Network is afraid of viewer burnout. So every now and then, after they air a show for a long time, they minimize it the best they can in reruns. Like, reruns almost become non-existent. And this isn't the first time this happened to Steven Universe. It's, like, the second or third time they've done this with Steven Universe. But they've done it with all their shows. They've done it with Gumball. They've done it with Clarence. They've done it with We Bear Bears, Uncle Grandpa, etc., etc. But it's just so weird since we literally just had, like I said, Oddless World air two times in one day. Now we're having it air only on Fridays? That's just, un that's not right. That's bizarre. But let's go at the other shows. Gumball is airing 70 times this week, so 22% of the schedule. I mean, that's still, I feel like, a lot. But if you look, most of that's in the morning and at 5 p.m. on each day. So there's a little bit of consistency. And I guess 5 p.m. is prime time. But the 6 a.m. time slots, like the hour at 6, it's not really anything special. And even though it's 70 airings and 20% schedule, it's still not 50% like Teen Titans Go. Clarence is getting aired 18 times, and that's 6%. So look at the big drop from this. Like, we have Gumball gets aired 70, then the rest of the shows is 18 or less. What? Where's the diversity, Cartoon Network? We Bear Bears is getting aired 18 times this week, and that's 6% of the schedule. My Night and Me which is that important show they're airing that people I seem to dislike. I'm sure people just dislike it because it's like Canadian and CGI and it's not Steven Universe or people just dislike it because it's actually bad. I haven't actually seen it, so I can't speak on it. But I like to give all shows a fair chance. That's being aired 16 times, which is 5% of the schedule. Uncle Grandpa is getting aired 14 times this week, which is 4% of the schedule. Movies and specials. And oh my god, Cartoon Network used to love dominating the schedule of movies and specials. You guys in 2008, 2009, you guys remember the great Cartoon Network movie schedules when all it would just be just movies and specials and like in between that would be Johnny Test. Oh god, getting flashbacks. Anyways, we're getting nine movies and specials aired this week and that's 3% schedule. Time and Jerry Tales is getting aired eight times this week and that's 3% of the schedule and that's just like 9 a.m. Like that's like sick day schedule time. Mighty Magiswords, which they used to promote the hell out of, only five times this week, 2% of the schedule. What? Five times for Mighty Magiswords? Now this thing's like, oh, it's the greatest show ever, or, oh, I love Mighty Magiswords, but you guys just pimp the hell out of the show. Now you're only airing it five times, and now everything else is just one time. 
Just League Action, one time. Lego Nexo Knights, one time. Again, another show they promoted the hell out of. And Steve Universe, one time, which is on Friday, which is a new episode. Wh this is bad, Cartoon Network. You're only airing these shows like Just League Action, Lego Nexo Knights, Steven Universe, when there's only new episodes premiering. And I get it. Your burnout's a thing. I get it. But you can throw some reruns of every show now and then. You guys were good at airing at least one show a day. We don't see that right here. This isn't the case anymore with this schedule. Hopefully the schedule isn't permanent. But like their other shows, Adventure Time, zero airings. Be Cool Scooby-Doo, zero airings. Ninjago, zero airings. Regular show, even though it's over, zero airings. Sonic Boom, zero airings. Super Noobs, even though that's Canadian important, I watched it and it was all right. Zero airings. Powerpuff Girls, the reboot that you forced out everyone's throat. Zero airings. Tom and Jerry Show, zero airings. Transformers, Robots in Disguise, zero airings. Wabbit, zero airings. Like, what? Why do you need literally 50% Teen Titans? Go! I don't fucking get it. I know it's, it's your moneymaker, it's your powerhouse. Just put it in prime time and call it a day. Like, we, do we really need Teen Titans Go every single day at 3 p.m.? And oh my god, like, mmm. This is just, it's, it's, it gets to the point where it's infuriating. I know you need your money card stuck, but like, are you guys okay financially? Because this is just unnatural. 159 airings. <sighs> and I know you guys are worried about Steven Universe, and I understand why. But like I said, it's just pure burnout. They do this with all their shows, all the originals at some point. And like I said, this isn't the first time I'm having with Steven Universe. It'll be back, guys. It's going to get its reruns and, sh and stuff back soon. But no, I just wanted to rant about this schedule because this is just unheard of. A lot of people are mad about Stephen Universe. Like, dude, where's my Adventure Time earrings? My uh, <laughs> more Uncle Grandpa, We Bear Bears. Like, only 18 earrings for We Bear Bears and Clarence? God damn. So yeah, what do you guys think of this awful schedule? This is a bad schedule. I'm not even going to like try to defend the schedule. Cartoon Network, you screwed yourself over with this one. And you screwed over yourself with the Friday schedule, which I'll get to in a minute. Expect that video later today. This this is just incompetent. Awestruck Vox, signing out.